Welcome to Make Life Fun. I'm your host, Josie Wheatman, founder of Backroads Coaching, where we pave our own path to self-acceptance. Think of me as your self-love bestie, here to guide you, support you as you let go, rewrite the thoughts and beliefs that are blocking you from loving yourself and living your best life. This season, we are talking business, pleasure, love, money, and of course, all things motherhood. This is a sponsored episode by Regila Beauty. As women, our skincare needs are constantly evolving and changing, so it can get a little confusing when we need a new item to fit into our existing skincare routine to tackle new issues. Regila Beauty has a wide variety of items that are built to fit into your routine, whether you have youthful skin, mature skin, you're expecting, or you're even a new mama. If I told you that you could enjoy these benefits without the inconvenience or expense of changing your current skincare routine, but just by adding something wonderful and affordable to it. Skin that looks and feels more even-toned, firmer, hydrated, radiant, smoother, smaller pores. Well, Regila Beauty has the Hydrating Serum, and it is that something wonderful that I'm speaking of. It is perfect for busy moms at any stage of motherhood, whether you're trying to conceive, currently pregnant, nursing, or preparing for an empty nest. Our serum is the clean beauty, fuss-free add-in you've been looking for. It's formulated to be non-irritating for even the most sensitive skin. It's full of beautifying botanicals featuring hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and vitamin C, the ultimate anti-aging trifecta. It sinks right into your skin effortlessly between your current toner, moisturizer, without feeling greasy or sticky. It's unscented and also free of toxic ingredients that could harm your health. Get it today by visiting Regila's Amazon shop at amazon.com slash Regila, R-E-J-A-L-L-A, or click the link in the description box now. Hi, family. Happy, happy New Year's. Welcome back to Make Life Fun. Welcome to 2023. We made it. We should really give ourselves a round of applause and a pat on the back because last year was, I mean, it was a roller coaster, right? With every year, we have those ups, we have those downs, we have moments that feel so good that we just want to stay there forever. And then we have those moments that we wish we could just snap our fingers and dip out, right? And so to make it to 2023 with newness, with vigor and eagerness, passion, and a little bit of purpose. It's kind of exciting. It's actually really exciting. And I want you to lean into love today. I'm going to talk to you about visioning. We're going to have a vision party here on Make Life Fun. So for this episode, I'm really going to recommend that you grab yourself a piece of paper. You grab yourself a drink, a beverage. I am doing coconut water today and we're going to settle in. We're going to settle in and we're going to do some visioning in because it's only by declaring and committing to a future that you feel called and pulled and excited about that you really will create what you want to create. Like when you wake up in the morning, sometimes when you have nothing to do, have you ever noticed that feeling of not really wanting to get out of bed, stay a little longer, it's really warm in here versus the days when you wake up and you have something exciting to look forward to. Like you have a vacation or you have a new podcast interview or you have a book that you're writing or you're doing something that feels purposeful that makes you want to jump out of bed. So we're going to vision that in today. And I want you to start by closing your eyes for me and relaxing in, relax in. And if you need to pause this to grab your beverage and a pen and paper, please do that now. (laughs) So yes, we're going to go ahead and close our eyes. We're going to get a little centered or a lot centered into our bodies. We're just going to start to feel our bums on the seat that we're on. (sighs) We're just going to drop in. We're just going to feel And we're just going to pay attention to what our bodies are saying to us right now. If you feel any tension, if you feel any tightness, I invite you to just pay a little attention to that without any judgment. We're just going to breathe some life into that space and give it some love and attention. And invite that part of your body to relax. Mm, we're just going to arrive here now. A couple more breaths here in through the nose. 
Out through the nose. In through the nose. Out through the nose. In through the nose. Hmm. Settling in. Now I want you to remember a time in your life where you felt loved. You felt unconditionally loved. You felt so held, so supportive. The most love that you've ever felt in your life, whether that be with a partner, a child, a friend, a family member, or even yourself. I want you to allow yourself to fully step into that memory, that memory of feeling so much love that it filled your soul, your body, your heart, your spirit. And it just felt so good. So, so, so pleasurable. I want you to really savor, savor that feeling of unconditional love that you felt either for yourself or from a loved one. I want you to breathe that love in. We're going to breathe it into your body, bring it into your heart. Even if you need to put your hand on your heart to fully, fully feel it now. We're stepping into that moment as if it's happening right now. We're allowing our bodies to be flooded with this, oh, such goodness, this energy that is flowing through you that we forget is here for us at all times. We're going to savor it. We're going to sit with this feeling of love. And we're just going to breathe, breathe, breathe it in fully, feeling your belly rise. We're just going to hold that feeling in your body. And where are you feeling that sensation? Where is that sensation for you? And how does it feel? Just noticing, just paying attention to the fact that your body has the ability to feel this much love from a moment that happened. It could be years ago. It could be yesterday. It could have been today. But you're able to step into this moment and truly feel this love. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. <sighs> For just a moment longer. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. And now we're going to do some visioning in. So when you feel ready, go ahead and open your eyes, grab your pen and paper, take a drink of your beverage. Cheers, my friends. <sighs> we're going to start to focus. We're going to bring some focus in to what is it that you desire? What is it that you're calling in this year, 2023? What is it asking you to become? That is the question. What is 2023 asking of you, asking you to become, asking you to step into? What is it that you want? What is it that you desire here? It's time to dream a little. It's time to visualize it, step into it. Is it a vacation? It's just more time with your friends. Is it being more intentional with your business, more intentional with your time? Like what is 2023 asking of you? And from what 2023 is asking of you, what do you desire from that? How do you desire to feel in the morning when you wake up out of bed? And I want you to release any mind drama that's coming up that's saying, I'm not good enough. All the mind drama that's saying that nothing good ever happens to me. I'm not worthy. It's already a bunch of these out in the world. How can I do this? I can't do it. I want you to suspend that belief. For right now, we are dreaming. We are visioning. We are creating. Mm. What is that feeling? Is it freedom? Is it joy? Is it peace? Is it more presence? Is this the year that you receive everything that you've ever wanted? What is the feeling that you want to feel here in 2023? And this is going to ask of you to let go of the beliefs that are saying that it's not possible for you. Because there are so many places in the world where you can look at people doing exactly what you want to do. And they're not special. We are all connected. We are all able to tap into that same source, that same love, that same energy that we felt earlier. So I'm here to tell you it's possible for you. So we're going to suspend your disbelief just for this exercise. You can pick it up after we get done with this beautiful, beautiful visioning in. But I want you to suspend those beliefs and those thoughts and those doubts and just dream with me. So what is it that inspires you? That's the next question. What inspires you? What motivates you? What keeps you going? Because that's going to come up. Like your big why of why do you want this vision? Why do you want this dream? Is the fuel that's going to fire you. So that why could be for your family. It could be for yourself. It could be for the greater good of all. The why that pulls you, I want you to tap in. I want you to feel your bum on the seat again. And I want you to go into your heart. 
and ask yourself, why do I want this? What am I going to achieve? What is this going to create for me in my life? How is this going to help my life and other people's life? Why am I the perfect person for this? Why is me raising my hand so, so important in 2023? Allow yourself to feel that feeling of your why in your body. Feel it in your heart. Bring some emotion to that why. That why needs to fuel you. That why needs to be your light, your fire that gets you jumping out of bed every day. Because it's January, right? And with January, what happens? We say, We're going to do these things and we're fired up. We're passionate, right? We're feeling that love. We're feeling that energy. But then by February, March, we're starting to lose a little fuel. And so if we can come back to this why, this powerful push, this powerful pull of why is it that you want this vision? And why are you the perfect, perfect person to do this right now in such a time as this? And again, we're going to keep letting go. We're going to keep releasing and putting aside those beliefs that are not serving you, those beliefs that's not true, we're just going to keep not paying any attention to those. If they come up for you, just don't even pay them any mind for now. Is there a part of you that can allow yourself for just this moment to visualize this, like to truly like picture it in your heart, picture it in your mind of what it is that you're doing? What is it that is calling you? Your why? all of it. Can you start to visualize it? Bring it to your to yourself, to your body. Like what does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it taste like? Who is there with you? Who's with you when you have done this, when you're doing this? So we're going to do all our senses. We're going to do our what it looks like. We're going to do what it smells like, what it sounds like, what it tastes like, what it feels like and who is there with you like truly just get that into your body locked in of how good that feels when you visualize it fully happening completely done when you were a child remember when you were a kid and you wanted something so badly and you looked up at the stars and you wish for it you wish for something so strongly and You didn't even have to think about if it was going to happen or not. You just had this utter belief in your heart and your soul that this was it. Like, this is what I was called to want. This, I don't need anybody to tell me I deserve it. I don't need anybody to tell me I'm worthy. This is what I'm asking of you right now. You don't need anyone's permission. Give it to yourself. Give yourself permission right now to fully want, to fully receive, to fully feel it, and to fully say, hell yes, hell yes to this vision that you're calling in in 2023, right? You're worthy. You deserve it all. There is nothing that you need to do to deserve. You just have to get ready to receive what you're calling in. And how is it that you're going to get ready for what you're calling in? You're going to ask for support. You're going to allow yourself to be held. Can you do that for yourself? Can you love yourself that much to raise your hand to be supported, to receive the guidance, the help, to bring this into fruition, because I do truly believe in my heart, we can't do this alone. We weren't meant to do life alone. We weren't meant to grow alone and evolve alone and deal with our mind drama, our emotional and mental fog, the noise, right? We weren't meant to do that alone. And that is what it's going to call you. So these doubts that creep up, these limiting beliefs that creep up, these thoughts saying that this isn't going to happen for me, I'm too much. There's too many people out in the world already doing this. Who am I? Who am I to do this, to want this? Those need to be silenced. Those need to be replaced with more truth, right? We need a truer, truer belief pulling you forward to this vision. And that is where I come in. I'm your self-love coach. I'm your self-love bestie, helping you love yourself back to life. Fully bring yourself to the table, not abandon yourself, allow yourself to want, allow yourself to receive. This is where a coach comes in. This is where having accountability partners come in. This is where having a person, a team, a support system to help you fuel this vision. Because right now you've created something, like look at your paper, what you've created, what you've written down. You've created something very precious that you truly, your heart's longing, your soul's calling. And I believe that it's worthy and deserving of being brought to light, of being created by you. And the only way that you can do that is truly by allowing yourself to receive, by leaning in, by asking for what you want, asking for what you want. 
So here I am raising my hand. I've done the work. I know how to help you release that mind drama, tap in to the truth of who you are, which is limitless, full potential, full like love. You are love. And that is the practice that I do with the people that I work with and coach is we work by embodying what is it that you truly, truly want. Embodying what is it that you want to let go and walking into it and stepping into it fully as you are right now, welcoming all of you to the table, right? So I want to help you gain some awareness to what is going to stop you from creating this vision, this beautiful vision that's on your heart, on your soul, that you desire, that you want. What is going to stop you? I want you to ask yourself, where am I going to block myself? Where am I going to abandon myself and not show up for myself? What are the thoughts? What are the beliefs? What are the habits that are going to get in your way from creating this beautiful vision? And where do you self-sabotage? And this requires you to get radically self-acceptance. This requires you to look at yourself from a place of non-judgment as you ask yourself these questions and allow these answers to bubble up. Just ask yourself these questions to get these answers for yourself. What do you need to let go of to become the person that you desire? When the beliefs come up that says, I can't speak my truth. I'm not good enough. I don't deserve this. I don't deserve it. When things don't work out for me ever, or I'm too much, or I'm not enough. What are the thoughts, beliefs, and habits that you need to let go of? This pure awareness of knowing what is blocking you and stopping you. I've been there. I'm always there. I'm still there. I'm constantly getting these answers to help me break free. And I know that it's possible to break free from these. Your life begins to change when you allow yourself to receive these answers without any judgment so that you can take that first step and start to commit to the process of change and transformation. This is the inner work. This is the inner work that's going to lead to radical self-acceptance and love. This is the inner work that's going to lead you to take inspired action so that you can start to feel like you're gaining traction. You can start to see what you're manifesting, what you're visioning in, in the here and now. So when you work with me, you will fully embody these breakthroughs. You will value your worth. You will begin to receive all of who you are right now, flaws and all, because we're not perfect. The part of us that is perfect is that soul part of us, but our human part of us is that part that came into this world to feel it all, to experience it all, to take this roller coaster, this journey that we call life. So working with me, you receive all of who you are. You own your shadow and your light. You know when to say yes to something. You know when to say no to something. You're so firm in your boundary. And that is love. That is self-love. You step into a new opportunity with ease and confidence. You raise your hand more often and say yes to the things that feel good, that feel yummy to your heart. And ultimately, you create the results you deeply desire. And it's so beautiful to witness, to be a part of. So let's co-create magic together in 2023. Are you ready? Does this sound expansive? Does this sound delicious? Because if it does, I'm ready for you. All of you is worthy of being here, of being accepted as you walk your journey. So this is your vision. You created something beautiful. Put it somewhere where you can see it. Make it a special, a special thing for yourself. And when you're ready for support, I am here to support you this year. I am calling in five beautiful souls who are ready to love themselves into life, who are ready to fully accept themselves and accept the calling on their heart and take baby steps in that inspired action from a place of can't wait to do it. And if that is you, I look forward to working with you. I would be honored to walk this journey with you to help you break free to help you fully step in to what it is that you're calling in. Whatever that is, you are worthy. You're worthy of it all. And so I would love for you to tell me in the comments how this made you feel, what you're calling in. If you are on YouTube, put this in the comments. If you are listening to this in a podcast, please come to my Facebook page or my Instagram and shoot me a DM. I love hearing from you guys. And I would love, love, love nothing more to hear what is 2023 asking of you? And are you hearing the call? Are you ready? Are you willing? 
Yeah. Don't forget to go to backrosecoaching.com if you would love more information or come visit me on Instagram or Facebook. Well, thank you so much for visioning in with me. This has been a pleasure and I hope that you have the best 2023. I'm wishing you peace. I'm wishing you joy. I'm wishing you love, passion, magic, and excitement as you step into this new year. Remember that you are worthy. You are deserving. Don't forget to share this and like it and get it out there. We need more people visioning in and feeling this energy, right? (laughs) Big love. Thank you for being part of the self-love movement. Your support and care matters here. Please be sure to subscribe, review, and share. And get your ultimate daily planner freebie today by visiting makewifefunpodcast.com. When you're ready to step deeper into my vibration and work together, go to backrosecoaching.com. Thank you again for listening. See you next time.